Chapter 2 Our daddy had been a hero. When mama was still pregnant with me, our daddy was sitting in Central Park reading the paper. It was winter time, but he liked to go over to the park and sit. He liked the quiet and the cold together. He liked the sound his newspaper made when he turned the pages in the wind. Tyree says this woman had been jogging around the lake near where daddy was. She was jogging with a dog when the dog decided to take off after a bird. The lake was frozen, so I guess the dog just figured it could run straight across. But right in the middle, the ice started cracking away, and the dog went under. Daddy looked up to see the screaming lady running after the dog, saw the dog way out, bobbing in and out of the water. Tyree says Daddy pulled the lady out first, then the dog. The dog and the lady lived, but my daddy died of hypothermia. He went out stupid, New Charlie always says now. Saving a dog and a white woman is a stupid way to die. Only thing in the world you need to save is your own self. You used to want to save stray animals, I remind New Charlie. You used to pray to St. Francis. How do I do it, Cha? I had asked that first night a long time ago, the night he told me about St. Francis. Charlie sat up in his bed and put his hands together under his chin, like this. Dear Lord and St. Francis of Assisi, me and my brother know you both love animals as much as we do. We know how you saved that dog that was drowning in Central Park. You sent our daddy in there. We're not mad about it or anything. Not anymore. We don't have another daddy. But there's a lot of other animals need saving. So please don't let none get killed by starving or freezing to death in the cold. Don't let none get hit by cars or beat up by stupid kids. Just let them all have food and someplace warm. And if you could, could you please give dogs nine lives the same as cats? And turtles too, I added. Please? Turtles too, Charlie said. Amen. Amen, I whispered. Charlie unclasped his hands and lay back on the bed. Now watch, he said. When you dream, it's going to be full of happy animals. He was right. But that was a long time ago. Back when we were a family. Back before Rawway and Mama dying. Back before... Before Charlie became somebody else. I never cared about no dogs, New Charlie says. But he doesn't look at me when he says it. Because he knows I know he's lying. All we got now is one other brother. Tyree. Tyree's just the opposite of new Charlie. He'll tell you in a minute he's got a soft spot for me. And don't care what people say about it. New Charlie would never call me la la in front of Tyree. He just knows better. People who knew mama say if Tyree was a woman, he'd be a twin. Even though two people made him, he's all Milagro's child. Milagro was my mama. Her name means miracle in Spanish. And maybe it was a miracle that she had a demon seed son like New Charlie. Mama was born in Bayamon. That's in Puerto Rico. But her family came here when she was real little. I can only speak a little bit of Spanish. Because Mama used to say it was better if we learned good English. But I'm taking Spanish now. Figure if I learn to speak Mama's language, I'll have a little bit more of her to hold on to. My great aunt Cecile is all the time saying, dead don't have to mean dead and gone. And I'd like to believe that. I got two scratched up pictures of Mama left. One of the pictures is of me and her outside on the stoop. Mama's sitting and I'm standing bending over her to show her something I got in my hand. Mama's wearing a light blue dress and she has her hair out so that it's all curly around her shoulders. In the picture, she's smiling at the thing I'm showing her. Like she's real proud. I look real close at that picture all the time. But I still can't remember what it was I was showing her. The other pictures of me and Charlie and Mama were all dressed up and smiling. Maybe it was Easter. Mama has her arms around me and Charlie's shoulders. We both look a little bit like her in that picture. But I'm much darker. Like Mama said my daddy was. There used to be a lot of other pictures. But they got burned. New Charlie had a fit one Saturday and burned them all. But we're not allowed to talk about it. Sometimes I wonder what happened to that lady and that dog my daddy saved. There's always stories about people getting saved and then giving the people who saved them money or people coming along years later and naming their kids after the people. But none of that ever happened to us. My daddy's name was Lafayette too. And I wonder if there's a little white kid somewhere named after him. 
Maybe the lady is still jogging around Central Park. Maybe she keeps her dog on a leash now, though. And maybe once in a while she sees in her head my daddy running toward her on a half-frozen lake. Or maybe she didn't have any kids and doesn't remember my daddy at all.